G'day everyone. This is actually a, a framed print. It's a very, very cheap print, just printed make-believe and somebody will actually, I can't believe that somebody would pay money to, you know, hang this in their house, you know. So, but it was on sale, surprise, surprise. So I got this for five dollars. So I've got a glass, I've got a frame, I've got these really heavy duty um, hooks, hangers, which I will unscrew with my little trusty screwdriver here. And uh, it's beautifully tidy at the back here. Oh, that's a bit bolder, so I'm just going to glue that down. So five dollars. You would be mad not to, not to, to just buy this and and make something beautiful with it. So I'm just looking at here. I don't know if you can see that. See that there? Oops, just a bit of a gap. I don't want my resin to leak through there, so I'm not sure if that's going to leak. Resin will find a way. So I'm just going to run some PVA glue, which is, this is not a PVA glue bottle. It's just a, an old hair dye bottle, which I washed thoroughly. And I use these little squeezy bottles a lot for paint and for glue and things like that. So I'm just going to run it along this gap. And make sure I build it up here a little bit because I'm not going to go over this point here. So it's going to take probably a couple of hours for this to completely dry so I can start resining. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going to go around here and prepare this, get it all nice and ready. Okay, welcome back. Let me straighten you up a little bit. Let me straighten you up. Okay, you can see now, uh, we are back to do this pour. I've got my resin all mixed and ready to go. I've got my selection of colours here. Look at these beautiful, gorgeous colours by Artisu. I absolutely adore them. And myself sorted here. So, the resin, you may see... It looks a bit milky and I was a little bit concerned about that in the beginning when I started experiencing it with this resin but um, I find that the longer I leave it it sorts itself out and it clears but because I've been mixing it for about five minutes and it's fine it's mixed it just needs to sit for a while and it could even be a trezillion bubbles in there so okay so i've got everything ready um i'm just going to mix my colors now and then i uh, will clean this a little bit with my alcohol wipe over here i have some uh cds or dvds nobody ever uses them anymore and i have a whole box of them so my daughter asked me if i could make her a clock and i thought i'll just use one of these for her and just play with them and see what else I can create because I'll have some leftovers. Okay, enough talking. So 10% is the maximum of your paint that you can use, but it, it really depends on the paint as well that you're using. Be very careful with the acrylics. If you're using acrylics and somebody's asked me what can you use with resin I've used acrylics oil paints they work really well inks mica pigments also work extremely well but with your acrylic paints just um, test them with a you know if you're just starting off just test uh, in a little little cup just to see how it mixes because some of them seize up and um, turn into something horrible you don't even want to know <laughs> but um, these pigments that I'm using 
are so easy to use because they mix brilliantly and I find that it depends on what piece I'm doing and what um, design I want to achieve what effect I want to achieve um, is whether I will mix in thoroughly because sometimes it's nice to have that bit of a swirl of just uh, clear resin going through it makes a really nice effect and you can't always do that with the acrylics okay because some acrylics you need to really 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 mix in it well same with the um, pigments micro pigments uh, powders I'm talking about and it's always good with the powders to mix a little bit first at the bottom of your cup and then add more resin so you know that you mixed it well and add some alcohol to it as well that helps with the mixing but these pigments are awesome for me because I know that they're going to be lasting me quite a while and I actually ordered some more because I want to stock up on these and this is likely what I'm going to be using from now on um, unless somebody can suggest another good one but um, that's what I do I, I, I try a lot of different things and then when you find a good one you stick to it so this is a really really gorgeous red scrape it off the stick there and that's that okay now my purple I will use this cup now because I need I wanted to do um, the whole thing in purple usually I use as a background either black or white this purple is so um, strong that I would definitely use that and I'm going to use quite a bit because I want a nice dark background and I am not quite sure what I'm going to do today but I know it's going to be different to what I usually do so we shall see <clears throat> okay my alcohol wipe just to wipe the glass a little bit I had a few drips of resin in there so I'll make sure I wipe that really well And the frame just in case there's some bits of fluff there that we don't want and then I'm going to flip it over and use that bit just to dry my hands and clean my hands okay here we go just gonna pretty much dump it down that's going to be my base I have leveled the table I just seem to be tilting a little bit, which is okay, I'll fix that. And I just want to get rid of these bubbles straight away. That's it. Just purple. So I've got the straw. Let's see if the straw thing will work for what I want to do. Okay. Oops. I could pour it, but I think I'm just going to make a mess if I do that. So I just want to do. The little blobs here. There we go.
go get my hand in there. Should I do that? Or should I use this spatula? I don't have good sort of feel with a spatula. I think I'm just going to use my hand. Okay. Here we go. Uh, no. I'm going to use this spatula. Nope, I'm going to use my hand. That's what I'm going to use. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it is too scary. Um, I want something really light. Okay, here we go. I will use this. But I won't just go, I'm just going to go like this. Okay, here we go. Check it out. Beautiful. Gotta do the other side. You could probably leave that in there, but because I messed it up here, I have to do the same thing. We'll leave it in the bottom ones. Oh, this is awkward. What does that remind you of? That was my idea. I'm glad I did that. And I've got some beautiful cells popping here. Don't you hate it when that happens? I know. I saw that. It's all good. I'll fix it a little bit. I can fix it like that. I can fix it by just dabbing a little bit. So it looks like it's meant to be there. How cool is that? Alrighty, that's our little golden butterfly. So we need to add something to it. Just the body.
just want to add some more color in there. So I just want to add white would probably be nice. Put some white in there. Okay, Let's go a little bit with this red. Just break up that white a bit there. I like the top as is. Okay. Okay. I quite like that. It's um pretty. I just need to add a little bit more gold here just to make that um, look like a bit of a body of a butterfly. There's lots of pretty stuff happening here. Lots and lots. I think some of this white, I will, some of this gold, I should say, pull it through there a bit. Very interesting and very cool. Okay, so I'm just going to move this out of the way now and do my little. Okay, so here's the butterfly. That was the first one. You can see some really cool things there happening. Now this has stopped moving now, which is a good thing. <laughs> 